I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, you may now be seated. Good morning, Overview. I'm Emily, and this is your Shark News. The next blood drive is tomorrow. If you signed up, make sure you show up. Remember, the life you save could be your own or somebody you love. Seniors, it's time for senior superlatives. Look for the QR code to vote by Wednesday for Class Clown, Most Athletic, Dynamic Duo, and other categories. That's for seniors only. If you park on campus, you need a hang tag. Go to, go to the Riverview website, download the info, pay the fee, and 48 hours later, go to Student Affairs and pick up your hang tag. It's that simple. And you need to get it done before February 1st or you might get a parking ticket. Finn's Tutoring is available after school in the Media Center, Tuesday through Thursday from 3.45 to 4.45. You can get help from a tutor or work on your own. There are plenty of computers and social distancing. And of course, masks are required. It's a new semester, so we sat down with Principal Gunder to see where we've been and where we're going. Given the circumstances that we're in in the pandemic, I believe the first semester went okay. I mean, as best as we could. You know, the thing about life sometimes, you know, in the past we had models to follow. When well, the pandemic and going to school, there was no model to follow. So given the circumstances and the shifting we did with the contact tracing and, and all of that, um, I thought we did pretty good um, and the best we could. So my plans for next, this semester um, coming up um, is just to survive. Um, you know, we kind of had like a model for the first semester of what we looked like. Uh, we're just going to try to make it to the end of the year uh, collectively as a group. You know, hopefully, you know, we can kind of start to phase out of this a little bit and that's uh, thinking positive. Uh, but with that in mind, you know, there's no immediate changes. We're going to try to survive, celebrate the wins more. You know, during this time, it's, a lot, it's very easy to uh, focus on the negative, but there are a lot of good things that's happening. Um, so we want to do a better job of celebrating those wins. Roughly, we have about 250 students that are slated uh, to return at the beginning of the second semester. And we're going to integrate them kind of like the first day of school. Um, we have a meeting with them first, you know, kind of like an assembly, uh, just kind of get to know you a little bit, talk about some of our uh, expectations here as a shark. Um, and just trying to transition slowly uh, with the schedules and so on. A lot of them will be returning students, meaning they were here last school year. Uh, but for our incoming freshmen, you know, this will be their first time on a high school campus. So we want to be very uh, symptomatic with that, with them, um, and just got to help them tra uh, transition the best we can. You know, I just want to thank everyone for uh, allowing us the opportunity, to, you know, to lead and, you know, start school this pandemic. This has been a very difficult year on many reasons, you know, from students to staff to leadership, um, even in our personal lives, you know, so, but the fact that you're here, you're coming every single day, you're still in the game. So collectively, let's continue to stick together. If there's anything we can do for you, please let us know. But I'm thankful and grateful to be a shark. We are in this together. But just thank you for showing up every single day. Um, and we will get there sooner than later. With that said, it is me, Mr. G. Make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. Go Sharks. Lit Week is here. Today is Bookstagram. Post and tag a pic on Instagram. Tomorrow is blind date with a book in the Media Center and teacher book swap. Wednesday, there will be a scavenger hunt. Thursday, the mobile library will be in the courtyard. And Friday, we'll wear crazy socks and sock it to literacy. And now, here's a special Lit Week feature. Take a look. coach here at Riverview High School and I picked actually two books for you today because they go together a dog's purpose and a dog's journey so if you would like to um, read a heartwarming story they're very awesome but you will cry at the end so just beware but these are two awesome books and they have turned them into a movie also so you can watch the movie afterwards and critique which one was better Thank you.
If you liked that, be sure to check out and subscribe to our YouTube channel because we will be posting more book talks during the week. February is Black History Month and Hype Club has events all month. Make sure you tune in each Monday to learn more. In sports, wrestling is at Freedom tonight and Home Against Plant on Wednesday, both starting at 5 p.m. Basketball is Home Against Durant on Tuesday and at Alonzo this Friday. Game starting at 6.30 and 8. If you want to participate in track and field, practices begin this week at the stadium. Today they start at 2.45 and the rest of the week at 3.45. If you're interested, see Coach Mig in room 535 or Coach Delazo in room 234. Flag football season is on the way. Conditioning is Monday from 3 to 4 and Wednesday and Thursday from 4 to 5 at the stadium. Tryouts begin Monday, February 8th at 3 p.m. See Coach Coffee in room 214 if you have any questions. Finally, a shout out to our Tampa Bay Bucks who are coming home to host the Super Bowl against the Kansas City Chiefs. Go Bucks! For Strike TV, I'm Emily. Have a great week, Riverview.